So what we've got is a machine called the Auto Pulse. I like to describe it as it comes in three, three pieces. You've got the board where you need to log roll the patient over the top of it. You've got this yellow indicator, which is where your auxilla need to be lined up with. You have a pressure pad, it's got a sensor on either side. So if the patient's not placed properly or they're a little bit skewy, you need to realign your patient. That's just good CPR. You've got the life band in two pieces that goes over the patient. And that's the size patient. We've got a bigger band coming there. The display around this side is very simple. You've got to stop and a go. So if I just hit that, have a look at the band when I do this. So it takes up the slack, it gets conformity, it gets the size of the patient. It squeezes 20% of where it stops. It's the pressure is circumferential across, it's not unidirectional in one position, it squeezes the greater vessels. Finger in there? Absolutely. Put your whole hand in there. there. What you'll what you feel there are two things. A full you'll feel two things. Okay, here we go. Well you'll see you you'll you'll notice that the pressure is spread out. And um, what's the other thing? Oh, that's full 50-50 duty cycle. As far as it pushes down, it, you can come up. And when we do CPR and we get tired, we tend to rest our weight over and don't get the full recoil. It just happens when you get tired. So you come up and down. So that's um, that's the machine. And it goes, if the patient's tube, and you've got a line in, I'm just going to switch them to continuous, not stop. So the implants don't be using them. Victoria have got seven machines.